Hi everyone and today I'll just be doing a short summary on the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. So our story begins in the art studio of Basil Howard where he is painting Dorian Gray's portrait. In enters Lord Henry and he meets Dorian Gray. After having a conversation with Dorian Gray, he convinces him that life becomes useless or life becomes meaningless once you lose your youth and vitality. It is after this and after Dorian sees the painting that he wishes that he would never grow old and all the, the, the touch of time or um, old age and uh, what his sins will be rendered on the painting and not on himself. Now his wish is granted when later on, uh, after he falls in love with an actress who subsequently commits suicide, after he rejects her because of Lord Henry again, he sees that the painting has changed a bit. So confirming that indeed the painting has taken his soul and given him immortal youth. Now this leads Dorian into a life of debauchery because he realizes that whatever sin he commits, will not show its effect on his face so he will always remain youthful and beautiful whereas his painting bears the brunt of it. Now along with whisperings from Lord Henry he engages in such acts that become so scandalous in all of uh, uh, London that his name becomes synonymous with the devil. Now Dorian Gray is basically a story about morality and the effects that an immoral lifestyle will have on your soul. Now Dorian sees these effects firsthand on the painting which shows every sin that he commits makes the painting grow older and more disgusting and uglier. You know, interestingly throughout the book Dorian does not think that he is the problem. He in fact blames all his problems on other people. He blames Basil Halward for painting the portrait which grants him this Im immortal youth. He blames Lord Henry for whispering and for, you know, pushing him towards the side of bad, whereas he was in full control of whether he was going to do these immoral deeds or not. He blames everyone else around him. When people around him start committing suicide or they start falling into these trappings of an immoral life, which he had helped lead them into, he blames their weak will on the circumstances and not on himself or the influence that he's had on them. Even right towards the end when he's thoroughly fed up with his life and wants to start living a good life, he blames his portrait. He does one act of kindness and he expects that there'll be a small change in the portrait which will give him the incentive to actually be better. But when he sees that his portrait not only does not change, but it's actually uglier than before because this one act of kindness was from a selfish place, he becomes enraged with the portrait and he blames it, uh, leading him to take a knife and stab the portrait, which ultimately kills him. This novel was scandalous when it first came out, leading Wilde to emit large portions of it before it was published. He famously said that art is not supposed to be censored but ultimately he had to censor large portions of his work otherwise the story would not get out. While I was reading the story of Dorian Gray, I kept thinking to myself that Dorian Gray himself was the blank canvas. When we first meet him, he's a 20-year-old naive um, boy who goes to Basil Howard to get, to get his uh, portrait done. He essentially is so pure that he's blank he has no real world experience it is only through the whisperings of lord henry who is this bad influence that we start seeing this paint on uh, dorian's soul this really horrid colors coming into view we can actually use this good angel bad angel an analogy here Lord Henry obviously being the bad angel and Basil Halward trying as much as he can to be the good angel to Dorian. This is a very short book and there's a reason why it's a classic. So I really think that you should pick this up and give it a read and let me know if you enjoy it or not. Thanks. Bye.